What if I told you that just a few simple budget-friendly upgrades could completely transform your workspace and skyrocket your productivity? Stick around today as I take you on a tour of my own personal setup and share with you 10 game-changing tips that won't break the bank. You ready? Let's go. Creating a workspace that inspires you and even motivates you doesn't have to be expensive. Today, we're gonna to share with you 10 simple yet really effective upgrades that you can do to transform any office space. Whether you're working from home or even if you're working from a small office or even a bedroom, these budget-friendly tips will help you maximize your output without actually emptying your wallet. And we've all been there, right? We're working in a dull, uninspiring bedroom or a small space that does nothing to spark our creativity, it just seems to suck all of our passion from us. It's a common challenge, especially when you're on a tight budget. But the truth is with a workspace has a huge impact, not only on your productivity, but most importantly on your motivation and staying focused or trying to stay focused in a really cluttered or poorly lit room is almost impossible. Now, before I jump into my top 10, actually in transparency, this list is actually going to be 11. I just honestly couldn't decide which one to drop off the list to make the number clean. So think of 11th, the 11th one as just a bonus. And to add some context, this is my personal workspace. So it's a bit unique because it was designed not just for everyday tasks, but also for YouTube creation, large online meetings. We hold like big online meetings for our business clients and for other people. Uh, each week and a ton of tech and marketing work. So this works for me. Multiple computers for me are a must, but your needs may be different. So regardless of the upgrades I'm about to share with you, some versatility around these and it's enough to fit almost any situation. All right, let's dive into the tech upgrades that will elevate your workspace. Number one, multiple monitors. Now I'm actually using HP V27, so 27 inch, so not massive screens. They're super affordable and it comes in for both screens here under 300 bucks. Now I understand the curved monitors are amazing and I've actually got a curved monitor in a different setup, but I specifically chose these two single monitors for this office and the reason, well, it helps me segment my work even more effectively. It makes things easier for me just to film and to edit, to keep everything neatly organized in its own box. And the budget-friendly dual monitor setup not only boosts productivity, but it also makes multitasking for me really, really simple. So it's definitely first one on the rank. Number two is a two-way dual monitor KVM switch. Now, if you're someone that doesn't understand what this is, let me tell you, if it's for people who juggle between two operating systems like I do. This device is an absolute must have. This is how it works, okay? So every piece of my setup, monitors, mouse, keyboard, speakers, all of those things, they plug directly into the KVM switch. Now I've got my PC and my Mac also connected to it as well. And when I'm ready to switch between them, all I have to do is hit one single button and instantly my entire setup, including the dual monitors, the mouse, the keyboard, even the speakers, transition seamlessly from one platform to the next. The setup is perfect for those who need flexibility between different types of computers and they need to move between them quickly and effectively. For instance, I might be editing a video on my Mac and one minute I need to dive into some code or do some sort of coding on my PC the next. So the KVM switch makes that transition super smooth. It saves me a whole heap of time and a whole heap of hassle from unplugging and trying to reconnect cables or using separate you know, keyboards and mouse for different machines. It's just a time saver. It makes sense. It makes sense for my office. And it's also a productivity booster. That's why I'm adding it here, just to ensure that my workflow stays uninterrupted, regardless of which platform that I'm working on, whether I'm coding or managing complex tasks. The switch simplifies the entire process. It allows me to maximize my efficiency without any fuss. Number three for me is the Wally frame system. Now there's different ones of these out there. I chose the Wally ones. Uh, the Wally frame system is it's one of those upgrades that completely transforms how you work by bringing both functionality and organization to your actual desk. So imagine having a setup where everything you need, lights, teleprompter, camera, and more 
It's neatly attached to your desk. It doesn't take up any additional surface space. And that's exactly what this frame system offers. Includes, you know, it takes away the cluttering of your desk with tripods, stands, mounts. This system integrates everything into a single cohesive structure. The lights are perfectly positioned exactly where I need them to be for optimal lighting on videos or Zoom meetings. Teleprompter is right there at the right height, allowing me to read scripts without ever breaking eye contact into the camera, like I'm doing right now, actually, believe it or not. And speaking of cameras, mine is actually mounted on the system itself, eliminating the need for bulky tripods and taking up precious desk space. Now, the real beauty of the frame system is its ability to keep everything organized and within arm's reach. So there's no more fumbling around for gear or dealing with messy cables. Everything's where it should be. Your workspace is clean and it's efficient and it's also pleasing to the eye. It's an all-in-one solution, maximizes your desk potential and gives you the freedom to focus on your work without the distraction or clutter. Plus, Everything is attached to the desk. It doesn't matter what position the desk is in because this is one that goes up and down. It allows you to just gain back all of that surface area and all and create gaps for all other essentials that you need on your actual desk. So whether it's in the up position, down position, everything moves all in one, everything stays connected. Even my microphones, my cameras, every, everything's all linked in a link so I can press one button and start filming straight away. Absolutely amazing setup. Okay, the next tip is my camera and my microphone. Now, I have a Sony A6500 camera and I have a special lens on that. I also have a Rode shotgun mic, which is right above me here when I'm standing up. And when it comes to video production, high quality camera setup, it, it's just non-negotiable, right? You need something that's class. However, one of the biggest challenges that I actually faced when using a camera like the Sony A6500 was actually figuring out how to connect everything in a way that would allow me to use it, not just for recordings, but also for Zoom meetings and other high-end webcams. So most tutorials I came across involved some sort of complex setup with external devices, and then you'd have to get all the video and all the audio out of those devices and transfer those files back to your PC for editing. And I just didn't like that whole thing. So I wanted a more streamlined approach Approach. So here's how I did it. I paired the Sony A6500 with the Rode Ultra Compact Shotgun mic. So that mic there cost me under $65. And the way I connected it all was through a HDMI capture card. And I picked one up on eBay for about $18. Now, this simple yet effective setup allows me to record crystal clear video and audio directly into things like Loom. This is how I'm filming this right now. So essentially turning the camera, turning the microphone into a powerful webcam. And the result, well, you get a high quality visuals just like this sound, just as you would expect. And it's a professional setup. It doesn't take any necessary complex steps or anything like that. Everything is captured directly into my PC in real time, making it perfect for both live meetings and also quick, efficient video production. This setup has been a game changer for me. It allows me to maintain professional grade quality while staying flexible and also efficient in my workflow. Next, we have a teleprompter. Now, if you're serious about video recording, a teleprompter is an absolute game changer. I bought mine, it's the T2 Desview for around $130 on Amazon, or you can get it on eBay as well. It allows you to stay perfectly on script without ever having to look away from the camera. Not only does it make your delivery a bit smoother, it makes you feel more professional and also keeps your audience way more engaged by maintaining direct eye contact. Now, it's a small investment that can make a massive dis difference to the quality of your video. So helping you communicate your message more clearly and confidently every single time. Next is the Prompt Smart Pro app. Now, this is the one that I use. Now, before I discovered this app, I used to manually scroll through my script on my teleprompter off camera. So I'd have like a little button in my hand and I was just scrolling at, to try and keep up to exactly where I needed to be. It was a bit of a hassle. It made things really hard to stay focused on the audience. And then I found this app and it's been a total game changer. It syncs seamlessly with my teleprompter. It uses voice recognition to automatically scroll to the script as I speak. So it keeps me perfectly on track without any manual adjustments. I'm not actually even sure how it works, but it just does, right? It's amazing. And the best part, you can own this super cool out outright for about 30 bucks, I think it was. So there's a few similar apps out there now. You just choose one that gets 
for you and actually works with your voice. Very, very different here in Australia, having an Australian accent, I actually had to find one that could understand the words that I was saying. Hopefully everybody watching this video can understand me okay. But this one has been a real lifesaver for me. It makes things so much easier to deliver my line smoothly while maintaining eye contact with you, the audience. Okay, this next one is a bit of a weird one. I call it my USB hub, and that's what it is. Effectively, it's a Wavelink super speed USB 3.0 hub network. And what it does, it's, it's an essential add-on to my workspace because it offers me a seamless solution to connect any other devices while keeping my desk free from cable clutter. So I have one cord coming up through the center of my desk and connecting to the Wavelink and then the rest of anything else that I do, cameras, phones, any sort of like, you know, we have road microphones and stuff like that as well. So any anything else that goes through connects straight to this. And this hub has one connection back into my PC and it, and it just splits everything perfectly. Now, the great thing about it, it connects everything, as I say, from external hard drives, cameras, keyboards, mouse, other things, all through back in through that one single hub. Now, the standout feature of this hub is its ability to manage high-speed data transfers, which is a huge time saver for me, especially when working with large video files or multiple devices at the same time. So instead of dealing with a tangle of cords, constantly switching between different things, the, the hub just consolidates everything in one sleek, efficient setup. And beyond just being functional, it significantly contributes to the aesthetics of my workspace. It just reduces the number of cables running across my desk, which I absolutely hate. And uh, it just helps keep everything clean and organized and professional which allows me to be better at what I do. Next one I'm gonna talk about is The Remarkable. Now, if you don't know what The Remarkable is, it's a digital book and it's much more than just a digital notepad. It's a powerful tool that allows you to transform everything that you do as how you organize, capture, and execute your ideas and your notes. Now, this for me was amazing. It absolutely just, I, I love it. It's designed to feel as close to paper as absolutely po possible. And it's perfect for just jotting down your thoughts, maybe even sketching out some different concepts or even planning a project with ease. And whether I'm brainstorming different new ideas or mapping out business strategies or simply just making to-do lists, the Remarkable just helps me do everything and keep everything in one place. Now, what sets the Remarkable apart is its ability to combine both the tactile satisfaction of handwriting with the efficiency of digital tech. Now, the device syncs effortlessly with anything on the cloud, allows me to you know, access my notes from anywhere, whether I'm on my desk or on the go. Plus, with the built-in templates, it makes it really easy to structure the notes, create diagrams, even draft out storyboards. Now, Everything is captured, it's kept in one place, and another major advantage is it's distraction-free, meaning there's no apps, there's no notifications, there's no buzzes or bells or games or anything to take my attention away. It allows me to focus entirely on the task at hand, and this makes an ideal tool for deep work sessions where concentration is paramount. Now, when it comes to staying organized, the Remarkable really shines. With all my notes digitized and categorized, I can actually quickly search and retrieve any piece of information, whether it's a quick thought from months ago or a detail plan. It's an absolute game changer for anyone who values both creativity and productivity makes it easier than ever to turn your ideas into actual actions. Now, the mother of all of this entire office is this next one, which is my desk. Now, I use the OmniDesk. The OmniDesk is more than just a piece of furniture though, right? It's a dynamic workstation and it transforms exactly how I approach my day. The adjustable desk allows me to effortlessly switch between sitting down or standing positions, helps keep my energy levels high. It allows me to focus throughout the day, whether I'm deep in editing a video or on a lengthy Zoom call or just knocking out emails. The ability to change my posture keeps me from getting fatigued 
allows me and enhances me to create my, and, and enhance my overall productivity. Now, one of the standout features of this OmniDesk is how it contributes to just a clean, well-organized workspace with careful cable management. I've managed to keep everything really nice and tidy. There's only one single cord that actually runs from this desk to the wall and all my devices, including my monitors, and, you know, my keyboard, mouse, and lighting is all neatly integrated into the desk setup. It just eliminates any clutter and cable and power strips that may look make the workspace just feel chaotic. This minimalist approach, it doesn't just look good, it also contributes to more efficient work environment. So without the distraction of tangled wires or frustration, it's a really, really clean desk. So I can focus entirely on the tasks at hand, and the desk smooth adjustability just means that I can just press a button, raise or lower it with ease. It allows me to work it from any position and it's comfortable and it's just fantastic. Honestly, in addition to its functionality, the Omni Desk is also built to accommodate all of my gear without compromising on stability or even style, right? It's, it's sleek, it's solid construction. It means it can handle the weight of multiple monitors, camera setup and all the other stuff that I rely on while still looking really super cool and professional. So for anyone serious about optimizing their workspace, check out OmniDesk. It offers a blend of different desks, different styles, different woods, and different versatilities for organization, just how you want it to look. And it's an essential upgrade if you're gonna do it for your office. I can promise you it will increase your productivity out of this world. Next one I'm gonna talk about is a timer. This little sucker right here for short, sharp bursts of energy. Honestly, incorporating a timer into my work has been one of the most effective and also productivity hacks that I've ever actually adopted. Honestly, I break my work into 20 minute bursts and I'm able to maintain a really high level of concentration without the risk of burning out. I just set this sucker for 20 minutes and the moment that it sets off, what I do is I then stand up, I shut down all of my pages and I shut down everything and walk away for a couple of minutes. I come back and restart again. I pick another subject to pick another topic. I select 20 on this thing here and uh, and it's a Pomodoro effect. So uh, what happens is it just counts down from 20 to zero. And then once it goes off, I do the whole thing again. Now, I know that sounds like it would be more confusing to do things, but I can tell you right now, by setting a specific period, 20 minutes in my case, during which I work really intensive on just one single task, it allows me and just to really fly through a whole bunch of really complicated stuff. And the beauty in this method lies in its simplicity and also in its effectiveness right? Those 20 minute intervals are long enough to make significant progress. They're also short enough to keep your energy levels really high and your mind really sharp. And by knowing that a break is right around the corner, I'm able to resist any distractions, push through any mental resistance, and it allows me to stay on task and productive throughout the day. The technique also, honestly, it helps me manage larger projects. Just by breaking down big tasks into little manageable chunks, the workload just feels less overwhelming and I'm able to maintain momentum without actually getting bogged down. So over time, these achievements without the exhaustion that comes from long interrupted work sessions and honestly, it comes down to this little thing right here. It's a timer, it creates a sense of urgency, it makes each session feel like it's got a bit of spirit rather than actually just being stuck in a marathon, right? And it keeps me motivated helps me identify any little things that I should be working on through the day. So grab yourself a little timer, set it to 20, go hard for 20 minutes and then take a break. Okay, I mentioned at the start, I was gonna give you 11 and that's because the bonus 11th one that I have to talk about is my whiteboards on my cupboard doors, right? So I'm in a space which is actually a converted bedroom. We had two cupboard doors, which is usually wasted space. And what we were able to do is we were able to turn these two doors into whiteboards by just simply buying some stick on whiteboard stuff from Officeworks. Just incredible how quickly that has shifted my whole room. And I'll tell you right now, I've always used whiteboards, but usually when I use a whiteboard, it actually is sitting on a stand. So that is, is off the wall. So we're losing about a foot and a half of that space. Plus you're wanting to turn it around most times. So you, 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 it just takes up, it's clunky, it's horrible. It looks terrible. So what we were able to do is actually find this stick on white uh, board substance, uh, 
I don't even know what the, the name of it is. I will find the name of it and actually put it right here on this video so that you can actually find it when you need to. Uh, and this, this stuff here, it's just mounted directly onto the cupboard doors. It, it's a clever use of space. Not only has it saved me from cluttering up my desk, it's also dramatically improved how I plan, how I visualize ideas and how I track my tasks. So these whiteboards have become my go-to tool to organizing my thoughts, whether it's brainstorming big projects, I get the big chunks there, then I do the other stuff on my Remarkable, then I set a timer for 20, and then I go for it, right? So having these boards right in front of me makes everything more tangible. Instead of flipping through notebooks or getting lost in digital task managers, I can see my priorities, especially for the day, right at a glance. And these visual approach, is, it's absolutely been key to keeping me on track and making sure that nothing slips through the cracks. Now, what's more, they're mounted on the doors, right? So they're completely out of the way when I don't need them. So it keeps my workspace nice and tidy and uncluttered. But when I do need to plan or check off tasks, they're right there. So it's excellent. Out of all of the upgrades I've made to my office, these whiteboards, honestly, they have had the most significant impact on my workflow because it's a small, low cost addition that's completely transformed how I approach my work and that's what i love and by keeping my ideas my goals and my to-do list visible and organized around me at all times these boards help me stay focused and productive without actually adding any extra to my workspace it's a perfect example of how a small innovative change can lead to a big improvement and sometimes it's not about the most expensive or high-tech upgrades it's about finding smart practical solutions that just fit seamlessly into your daily routine. And uh, and these whiteboards have certainly become part of my essential workspace. So I can't imagine even going to a setup without them. So there you have it. Uh, there's 10 budget-friendly upgrades that can actually transform your entire workspace and productivity and turn it into an absolute powerhouse. Even the smallest change can make a significant difference in creating a more enjoyable and even a more efficient work environment. So what upgrade are you most excited to try right what one are you going to try first drop a comment below i'd love to hear your thoughts we're eager to keep optimizing our workspace so if you're like us and you like this sort of stuff make sure you subscribe share this video don't miss out watch this video right here where we dive into some of the best apps to use in your workspace and with that said thanks for watching and until next time we'll see you then